What is going on, everybody? This is Degan from Degan Network, and welcome to episode 15 of Neverwinter Nights 2, the official campaign. So, previously on Neverwinter Nights 2, we went to Skymere, deal with Eleni's garbage uh, quest, and we ran into a Shadow Priest, which was kind of odd because we know they only attack my main character. So, apparently, the Druids definitely have something to do with the uh, main storyline, which is unfortunate because I don't like Eleni. Other than that, we're going to go ahead and start Caleb's crap. And here he is, right here, Caleb. So, the Watchman's scared of me. He turns and walk away. You should have seen the look on that merchant's face when you realized he wasn't getting any help. I tell you, Caleb, we own this place. We own our turf. Okay, so these guys are like gangsters, I'm guessing, because it said Moira and her gang. So we're going to act that out. Yo, I'll tell you, Caleb, we own this motherfucker. We, the Watch are either cowards or greedy cowards, willing to run at the drop of a coin with some cheddar. You looking for trouble? Maybe you better walk out of here before we break your legs. Yo. <laughs> uh-huh. Let's see. I was told you can get me into the Black Lake District. Yeah, well you were told wrong. Now get out, bitch. Uh, I see you're. I see you're not as well connected as I as I was led to believe. Sorry to trouble you, bitch. Failure. Damn it. Yo, who you think I am? What you think I am? Stupid. The people I know would kill me if I brought you right into that dole step. I'm losing my patience with you. I can't help you into Black Lake, and that's all. Okay. Do you at least have any work for me? Well, I am feeling a bit lazy today. Yeah, sure. I got work for you. There's a shop owner. Name of Hagen. He doesn't seem to understand that I run this turf. This is my Kona. He's being difficult. He's refusing to pay the money he owes me this week. Okay. So, what do you want me to do? What I want. Is for you to break his arms. He needs a lesson. And he'll still be able to pay even with his arms snap black twigs. I do this and you help me out. Handle Hagen for me and we'll talk more about how I can help you with your problem. Hagen's shop is right next to the docks. Next to the small courtyard. Come back with the money when you're done. Alright. And don't try to steal from me. I've got connections. Cross me and I'll find your ass. Yeah, don't bother trying to scare me. I've handled tougher people than you. You cross me and they won't find you. Get it? Ha, huh, you're not off to a good start. Just take care of Hagen for me and we'll find out who's tougher later. You little bitch. Alright, let's go. Let's go find this Hagen fellow. By the docks. Over here. Nice. Okay, I also took the liberty to take a look at the armor smith and the weapon smith, and they do have a lot of interesting things. However, you know, it doesn't really matter. I'm not going to buy anything there because I don't have a whole lot of money. 12k, so that kind of sucks. However, we need to find, uh, what is it? Hagen Shop. Where the fuck is it? Right here. Awesome. This is new. I usually end up saving Hagen. But now we're going to extort this guy. Crime. Now we're going to pretend to be uh, members of a gang. Risa. Well met. Is there anything I can help you with? Uh, who are you? I'm Risa. My father owns a shop. He runs the business side of things while I take care of our customers. All right, we need a couple of BJs. <laughs> okay, I'm. I need to speak with Hagen. He's late with his payment. Caleb sent you, Danny. I should have guessed it. Your kind can appreciate fine craftsmanship. My father has already given his answer. We will no longer pay for protection. Okay. Look, I'm not here to cause trouble. I'd rather we all work this out. Uh oh. Here he is, old dude. No trouble at all. Tell Caleb 
that the answer is still no. You'd best leave before I call for the watch. Fuck you. Stop it. I'm here, and I tell you that Caleb will get no more gold from me. Okay. Your goods are exquisite. I'm impressed. Yes, every piece that I have here is our finest craftsmanship. I even count some nobility amongst my regular customers. Opening a storefront here in the docks has turned out to be a wise decision. I normally get first bits on whatever's floating in each day. Okay, so I have a couple of things. You're doing well for yourself. Why risk that all you've built over a few gold coins? Yes, I understand. This is about principles. Though, I've worked hard for everything you see here, and I'm not about to let some brute make a living on my back. It's just a few coins. If your business is doing so well, surely you like to protect it from accidents. I will admit that Caleb, ha Caleb hasn't been unreasonable with his demands. However, I find the sheer idea of paying that brute off you know, to be utterly distasteful. Okay. Hmm. Your business will continue to flourish. Isn't that what this is all about? Or consider it as part of the cost of doing business. Well, let's go with the second option. Hate to admit it, but you make a very great deal of sense. No shit. I'm awesome. Very well. What? You can't give in to these bullies, father. You are right to stand up for them. Okay. Hmm. Don't listen to her. You're doing the smart thing, Hagen. Yes, yes. Here's the payment. Now please just leave. I must have words with my Dota. You have your money. Now get the fuck out. Is there anything around here? No? Damn it. Guess there's nothing in here that I can steal. Oh, there is right there. Box. <laughs> Take that. Fuck it. I'm evil. Who cares? Bow. Oh well. I just stole stuff. <laughs> cool. He didn't do shit about it. That was pretty awesome. I have a bad feeling we're going to have to deal with some uh, D-bags. Obsidian Entertainment. Come on, hurry up. Load screen. Nobody likes you. Awesome. Alright, back to Caleb. Never winter citizen. Shit. Averhan. There we go. There's Caleb. He is a dick. I just want to kill this guy. Hey, asshole. Not that I don't trust you and all, but I sent one of my boys down to keep an eye on on you while you spoke, spoke with Higgin. I told you to break his arm and not become his best friend, so you got the job done. Alright. You had me followed? Hey, I need to know if I can trust you. Look, forget about it. Here, this is your share of Higgin's money. Nice. 300 G's. Okay. There he is. He's the one that took my money. Oh, fucker. So strange to hear that not... Oh, it's so strange to hear that not directed at me. Give it time. Shouldn't be too long before they're blaming us too. Uh-oh. So I, I'm guessing there's watchmen behind us. So you found yourself a new lapdog to do your dirty work for you, Caleb. Looks like I've got you this time. I even have a witness. Nah, nice try. I wasn't there and you know it. That's not what Hagen here says. He says you've been trying to get him to pay up for weeks now and finally sent your new friend here to get the gold. Hagen can say whatever he wants. I wasn't there. Okay. Bribe. Hagen must be mistaken. Watch when you're 25 gold or lick my ass. City Watch is making a mistake here. You don't want any trouble for me. Let's go with killing them. You've picked the wrong watchman to cross. I can't be pushed around like the others. 
Great. Men, arrest a lot of them. We'll sort this out back to the station. Not without a fight, you won't. It's time we remind the watch what happens if they cause trouble around here. Bitch, let's go. Oh, what? What, do you think you're hard, motherfucker? Bam, bitch. Come on. Oh, is he already dead? Ha! <laughs> Great. Hey, good work there. Thanks for getting us out of that mess. I helped you, Caleb. Now you... Wait, you owe me one, Caleb. And you can repay that debt by getting me into Black Lake. Look, I need to lay low for a while, so I can't help you with that. I don't want to give the watch any more excuses to arrest me. Mora won't like it, though. It means no money will be coming in. Well, sounds like you're in a tough spot, bitch. Look. Oh, the accent. Yes. Hey, yo, look. Mora's not going to be happy with me bringing this much attention on my sale. Will you talk to her for me? You know, explain shit to her. Uh, can Moira get me into Black Lake? Maybe. She can definitely do more for you than I can. Yeah, oh yeah, she can help your ass out. Her place is north of here. I can mark it on your map. Hey, yo, respect. Talk to Moira. Tell her that it ain't my fault. Hey, and if you get on her good side, she might even have some work for you. Awesome. Cool, we just got more XP. And let's go to Moira's place. It's like way up there. God damn it. Great. Shit. God damn it. Stupid camera controls. Well, let's go to Moira's place. That was interesting. Sergeant. Douchebag. It's way up here. Neverwinter Citizen. I want to kill them all. Where is her place? So it's right here. Cool. For the latest news on Neverwinter Nights 2, go here. Yeah, it hasn't been updated in like several years. Shit. Moira? Moira? Hey, yo, not a lot of people enter here and walk out alive. The only thing keeping a dagger out of your old chest is Caleb's wood. Ha, <laughs> she's just stealing. And that doesn't go as far as either of you think. Okay. So, you better tell me why I should care about anything you say. And do it fast, yo. Uh-huh, I need to get into Black Lake. So, you want to join the nobility. You gotta lock Black Lake shut tight, yo. And I'm not going to waste any time on old, old man getting you in there. Alright, perhaps an exchange of services, then I can help you. I help you, you help me. Yeah, give me a sign of good fate. And what do you think you have to offer? It looks like nothing from where I am. From where I'm standing. Okay. I could work I could work for you, prove myself. You wanna work, eh? I heard that you you did those city hounds that crossed you. Yeah, no shit. I like the message that you sent him. I can use a herald like that. Okay. Bloodthirsty, aren't you? Bloodthirsty, Harley. I prefer to call it direct. We gotta pop those bitches. Pop the police. Fuck the police. The watch is a joke. Uh, worse than useless. Yo, they ain't shit. If you turn up dead, no one gives a fuck. I prefer to run a tight ship. I like tight. And that means the district's got to have someone at the helm, me. Alright. Alright, there will be always those who resist. Yo, it needs to be controlled. Never winters. Got enemies who are waiting for us to show weakness and the watch. The gray cloaks are going to stop them. They already failed us before. 
Uh, I was here when disease and the Luskins told part of this city. In the end, Neverwinter was saved by mercenaries, adventurers. No one survived those times without losing something or someone. And I'm not going to pray for outsiders who save us next time when I can do something about it now, bitch. Okay, so where can I fit in? <laughs> it's like I'm not even listening to her conversation. I'm like, so where can I fit in? We have a good grip on the docks now. But unless we squeeze that grip as that grip's as useless as the edict from Nasha. Other gangs are always trying to take our territory. I could use more watchmen answering to me instead of those sergeants. Alright? So what do you want me to do, bitch? You're gonna sweep the docks for me. Hit each of those watch gods god posts. Turn those motherfuckers and take care of those who can't. Nice. And other gangs and thieves. If you can get him to join us, do so. If not, send a message. We're running the docks. Yo, we run the docks, motherfucker. You want to do business? You talk to us. Got it? Anything else? There are some who believe a few soft words and a low-spoken threat are how we rule the motherfucking docks. Me, I believe in fear. Backed by pain. Great. So get started, bitch. Return. When the sweep's done, and we'll see how well you did. Now get the fuck out of my sight. Get out of my sciatica. <laughs> Great. And just steal from the box. I'll steal that money. <sighs> Yay. Alright. Let's go. I guess we can do that. Real quick. That was the most ridiculous conversation, man. <laughs> So basically, we have to, you know, those sergeants. I guess we have to talk to them and uh, convince them to play. Interesting. Press the asterisk button to switch between different play modes. I'll show you a play mode. We're gonna have some fun tonight. All right, hurry up. Let's go. So sergeants. Guard post. Uh, damn it. Lag. Whoa, what is going on there? Thug. Interesting. Let's go play here. Keep it moving. We're already behind schedule. If you stop talking and help me push, bitch, we'd already be there, motherfucker. Uh, what the hell are you doing? What? Oh, this? Nothing. Nothing at all. Just, you know, you moving along. It's all. Just moving on shit. Oh, is that all? Why don't you let me help? You ain't getting the hint, are you? None of your business. Moira will be lenient if you just show me the contents of this wagon. Fine, have it your way. Go on, have a look. Happy now? Can we go? This isn't enough to be any interest to Moira. Uh-huh. Split what you got in there, and I'll forget what I saw. Split it? Are you crazy? Just pay Moira's goon. We'll have plenty of gold once we make the delivery. Have it your way. Here you go. Can we leave now? Yeah, make sure you clear something like that with Mara next time. Yeah, yeah, whatever. We'll be going now. All this has all this has put us behind schedule. Dude, you're already behind schedule in the first place, bitch. It's like, fuck off. <laughs> fuck it. I'll take all of it. <laughs> Screw that. 200 gold? Screw that. Take all that. Haha, <laughs> -ha, more experience. Yo yo. So what do we get? Magic wand unidentified. Eleni. To Eleni. Just give all this stuff to Kelgar. 
so I don't have to carry shit. Find shield one. I am listening. Yeah, let's give that to Eleni. Nice. What? What, what? do you want? What the fuck do you want? So I'm gonna give everything to Kelgar. Send me two. Some shit. Nice. So, what do we get? We got Wand of Stinking Cloud. Okay, we'll give that to Mishka. And some other crap. Bullet plus one. What? Nice. What do you want? Well, that was fun. Let's keep going. You have to deal with these guys. Hey, yo. Something the watch can do for you? Yeah, any trouble from Moria's gang tonight? Not tonight, at least so far. Kind of odd, actually. The men and I were just discussing it. You won't be hearing any complaints from me. Be nice if this was a quiet night every night. I can keep it quiet every night. That's a bold statement. What you got? Sorcerer or something? Got a private army somewhere behind you? Yeah. Uh-huh. Believe what you want, I can make sure your shifts are peaceful. Unless you got something useful to, to say, stop wasting my time. Okay, you and your men wouldn't mind. Let's see, leave Moira's men alone and you'll find your shift quite peaceful. Is that all? I've got an even better idea. Why don't I just stop showing up for my shifts? Not interested. Well, let's intimidate. I hope you realize what kind of trouble this causes for you and your family. Oh yeah, look, there's no call for threats. This offer of yours, I won't have to do anything to actively betray the watch, will I? All you have to do is nothing when it comes to Moira's people. Well, money is tight nowadays, especially if you're a watchman. Council keeps taking from our budget and blah blah blah, don't care, and it wouldn't be betraying the watch I mean not really very well if you got the gold we've got an understanding just don't make me regret this all right you'll find that your life just got me a lot easier nice cool all right see ya great next guard post armor smith Guard post, sand shop. Cool. So there's somewhere over here. Why are there so many sundials around here? Do they not have clocks? And besides, the uh, shade from the buildings probably interrupts, you know? Ooh, what is going on here? We're not asking for more than what you've been paid, Doc Sergeant, and for showing some discretion, nothing more. We're offering you to take than you would ever make from the scum here at Docks, all for simply leaving your shift a little early. I don't think you understand how much trouble that would cause me. These thieves at the Docks aren't people you want to cross. That's why we're willing to pay so much, Sergeant. It's nothing more than you've done in the past. What, does it matter who it's from this time? All right. Who are these men, Sergeant? Uh, I regret that I didn't catch their names. In fact, I wasn't listening to anything they said. Not seriously, anyway. <laughs> what a douche. Uh, let us correct that. We're travelers from Luskin who are impressed with the dedication of our city watch and wish to offer a gift. Luskin, who let you into Neverwinter? Uh, Luskin and Neverwinter are currently at a peace with each other, which opens up a realm of opportunities for even the simplest watchmen. And that's why I have a business transaction to complete with the sergeant, one that doesn't concern you. All right. Looks to me like you're trying to bribe the sergeant. Whose loyalty are we paying for? We own everything in the docks, including the watch. What? I haven't agreed to anything. You have to believe me. So you were part of the band that claims to run the docks here. Perhaps should have approached you first. Yeah, but you didn't. That's your mistake. Look, I never took their money. I know where my loyalties lie. Correct, Sergeant. 
We're the choice you have to live with. Cross us, and there's no place in Neverwinter that will be safe for you and your family. Nice success. You're right. I may have accepted some gold to look the other way in my time, but at least it's always been Neverwinter gold. Nice. You lost skins will take your gold and set sail out of this port tonight, or else I will kick your ass. This is unfortunate. You and your men have not, will not be posted this given time, I assure you. Kill them all. Suck their balls. Kill them. Rape them. Etc. Well, let's Die. kill them. Mm. Bitch. Oh, yeah. Critical bitch. Oh, yeah. Fuck this dude. Let's show him who's boss. Bitch. Take that, motherfucker. Come on, don't miss, man. Boom, bitch. I guess I'll loot. Oh. The war is barely over and the Luskins are looking for an excuse to cause trouble. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't care. I'm glad you were there to back us up. You won't earn. Tell Moya what was said before the fight, will you? Uh-huh. You keep quiet for a price. Yeah, how do you know you won't betray us again when the opportunity sets itself? Look, I didn't take the coin. You must believe me. I don't deal with Luskin bitches. Just remember, when a watchman turns his back at the wrong time, he may find a dagger in it. Nice. You speak the truth. Cool. All right. Let me suck ass. I don't care. I just want to loot this. Five gold? Wow. You had, like, nothing. Oh, what a garbage. Next. Thug. You're fucking dead. Son of a bitch, man. Nope. You bitch. Hmm. Boom. You're dead. Y'all dead. Oh, come on, dude. Alright. Sorry to piss me off. Boom. Alright. There we go. Oh yeah, more remains. Some more shit that I don't need. There's a guard post. What do you want? You sound bored. <laughs> yeah, we're busy. So something that you wanted? Yeah. I'm looking for someone who's willing to keep silent on what he sees for the right price. Anyone can be blind and deaf. Like, oh man, I have a price too. Shit. All right. <laughs> I'm a man of my word. If we can count on you, then you can count on me. All right. Failure. Is that so? It looks like I'm dealing with a filthy lighter. It needs to be put down. Shit. What the fuck? <laughs> Hammer of judgment. Let's test this spell out. Oh, yeah. Boom. Oh shit! That was cool. Let's go. Boom! Bitch! Oh yeah. Oh, oh no. Not good. We are about to die. Not good at all. Heal Kelgar. Heal him. Oh my god. We are going to die, man. That's not good. Must have something here. This is bad. 
No, 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 no. You heal. Come on, come on. You can do it. You can do it. Oh shit. Come on. Yes. Hmm. Oh shit. I do not want to get killed, man. Wow, looks like we barely lived. Oh no. Come on. Son of a bitch. That was insane. Good? Alright. Awesome. That was insane, man. That was like eight people. Nice, thirty gold. What? What do you want? Gold? Nice, that was like a hundred gold right there. Shitload of experience. Yeah, we're almost there. Three thousand more. So we have like one more guard post, I think. Uh oh, what is this? What's going on here? Ladies, ladies, please, there's no call to lose our tempers over this. Temper? I haven't even gotten warmed up yet. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Being able to keep a rein on your spells is a sign of discipline, Quara. Something you could never master. Quara? And the instructors aren't here to shield you. Go on. Set fire to this whole street and this sad tavern, and you'll never be able to return to the academy, let alone Neverwinter. As if I'd want to stay in that prison with you high-nosed witches for another year. Oh, You're snap. Right. Here among the docks is where you belong, peddling yourself for cheap coin. Wow! Someone give me a Oh, tiger. yeah! This is going to get good! What in the nine hills did I do to deserve that? Oh, thank the gods you've arrived. Do something. These ladies are about to stop throwing spells outside my establishment. Who gives a fuck? Or, I was like, uh, sound like it's a show waiting to start, man. Hika, I think some thugs from the docks are here. Friends of yours, Clara? Sent to bail you out, perhaps? I don't need anyone's help to turn you into ash. Oh, shit. All right. Hmm. There's no need for violence. Let's talk there about this. There is nothing this. to discuss. Cora has threatened us for the last time, and we will stand for it no longer. Yeah, if Quara's so superior to us, then I say let her prove it, without the Academy instructors stepping in to stop things. The instructors? They never stopped me before. You always went running to them, not me. Oh, shit. I've heard every word you've said about me. Always talking behind my back, ridiculing me, just because it takes you a shoreman's hour to cast a cantrip. <laughs> <laughs> and you think setting fire to a stable while casting yours is any better, Quara? I practice restraint, not showy, excessive displays. Sounds yeah. like you're jealous. Hiba is simply cautious in her craft. Hiba. You're the dangerous one, Quara. Heifer. If you knew how dangerous I was, then you should have known better than to push me this far. Oh, shit. Uh-huh. Let's see. Streets under my protection. Cast a spell here. Uh, well, let's see. Let's, I'm sure there's another way. I... Yeah. I would not intervene if I were you, else we'll be forced to stop you as well. We are wizards, you know. Dude, yes, I'll fucking wizards kill you. from the academy. But we don't want any trouble with you. Just Quara. It's like, uh-huh. If violence is the only way to sell it, let's fucking do it, bitch. It'll be my pleasure. Hope you girls know a good priest. Alright, so we're not killing Kara? That's fine. Oh yeah. Son of a bitch. Take that, heifer. I didn't need your help. Those wizards had it coming. 
Well, yeah, but not in front of this inn. Those noble-born wannabe mages are just jealous. They don't like the fact that I can summon more power from my thumb than they can with a day's worth of concentration. Congratulations. They're always staring into their tomes and books, trying to categorize magic. It's a waste of time. It just is. And either you understand it or you don't. It's instinct. Yeah, it's kind of like playing Yu-Gi-Oh! or uh, Magic the Gathering. You get it or you don't. Now get the fuck out. Okay. So do you have the Academy? Well, the thing is, I'm not a part of the Academy anymore. I quit. Sort of. After burning down the stable. Me Last year you should have thought spelled. of that before starting a fight outside the flagon. And the damage you caused before they even showed up. It's oh. the wood you use in the rafters. It sets fire easily. Sorry about that. Sorry? <laughs> oh, lass, I wasn't asking for an apology. You'll be paying me back, you will, for all my lost business, for a tarnished reputation, and for putting me and my kin in danger like that. Yeah. What? I'm not working for either of you, ever. Uh, yeah, you owe us. No, lass, you will. Or by God, you'll bring down a fury from me like you've never seen. And not only that, if you don't, you'll be proving those other girls right. I don't think you're willing to admit you don't have discipline, restraint, or a sense of responsibility like they claim to have. Yeah, Besides, like you're the one to talk, man. You're an alcoholic. I have to use her in my travels, especially from a sorceress. You want me to help you? Fine, but I warn you, you may not be able to handle me. But if you want to take a demon by the horns, then fine. We got Nishka. All right. I'll be waiting inside. Great, great, great. Yay, now we don't have to use l &E anymore. Our garbage. Can't rest so soon after exerting yourself. Come on, dude. Oh, what the hell? Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. What are these you retards? Die. 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 Fucking do this, prick. Hmm. Oh, what, you wanna play, motherfucker? Oh, you suck. Ready for this? Oh, yeah. Hammer of justice. Boom! Oh, hammer of the gods. Damn it, Kelgar's dead. That's not good. Let's heal myself. Bonaparte. Hmm. Fucking go, bitch. Dude, Bronius needs to freaking attack. There we go. About time. Boom. Let's go, bitch. Oh, yeah. Suck a tash. Stupid scrolls, some more crap. Some more shit over here. Oh yeah, quarter staff plus one. Suck it. Unidentified ring, nice. I will take that. And we have this guy to deal with. What a long episode. So anyway, I told him to get another watchman to help him out, and then we're not leaving our post. And he says, yeah, whatever. Uh-huh. How would you like your job? Your ship going okay? Peaceful? After away from the main roads. Where does Caleb's either dead or gone underground? Without a leash, his thugs are stealing anything that isn't nailed down. I'm going to steal your family. <laughs> not that I'm looking... Not that I'm looking to get involved, mind you. You'd rather be here in this guard post. Okay, you're a wise man. I wouldn't say I've signed on and watch, watch in the first place. Okay, the pay's low. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't care. Still, it's a living. Okay. How would you like to earn a little bit of extra money? Uh huh. Gold in your pockets, and you work for Moira. She's been hunting down watchmen like rats around the world. Hell, because it's better to be standing there. Behind the one holding the dagger, and then in front of her. Alright. 
I need to know that my doing won't mean people getting hurt. Looking to hurt anyone, she just wants to do business in a quiet environment. It's good to hear. Nice. Alright, well, tell her to fuck off. Nice. You also tell her she better not make me regret this. Alright, alright. Cool. All right, so we finished all of that, and now we got Kara. She's at the inn, and we're going to replace Eleni with her because she is a much better unit, in my opinion. Not to mention, I can heal. So, peace. Sorry for a 40-minute episode. <laughs>